All right, it's time to go to work. Yo, what an interesting Grammys. Can we all agree with Killer Mike getting arrested? Um, the is a snub. Jay Z speech, you know, where he calls out the Illuminati. I mean, uh, the Grammys. And then we got Travis Scott, who a lot of people said had a temper tantrum on stage because he didn't get rap album of the year and lost to this guy, Killer Mike. And also the rap album of the year not being televised. Now, people have said the Grammys have been doing this year after year after year. Um, we got to go through Twitter, man. A lot of people are tweeting about this. You know, I'm really surprised that I haven't really heard other uh, news media outlets cover this part of the Grammys or speak about what happened at the Oscars with Will Smith slapping Chris Rock and then being able to sit down and take the award right afterwards. Whereas at the Grammys, we got Killer Mike uh, getting arrested, I think, shortly after his acceptance speech. And just the dynamic between black and let's just say white people. I mean, I know we got a, a Latin community that's in the Grammys as well, but let's let's just talk about these predominantly two races here, black and white. It's interesting how the the age gap also seems to be very different between them from what I notice. I, I see that a lot of the rappers and a lot of the black musicians tend to be younger, where it seems like a lot of the white artists other than with the Billie Eilish's and the Miley Cyrus's and the Taylor Swift's other than them it seems like a, a lot of the majority of the Caucasian people that were at the Grammys seem to be a little bit older in attendance I'm not sure if there's some kind of distinction in there that I need to look deeper into but um let's not talk about the nepotism as well Miley Cyrus winning Grammys Okay, so let's get into it, man. Killer Mike, he won three awards. I believe it was for Best Rap Song, Best Rap Performance, and Best Rap Album. Make some noise for that, man. And a lot of y'all in the comments section be saying, who's Killer Mike? Damn, man, has the agenda got y'all that brainwashed to where you don't even know who Killer Mike is? Look. Let me say this, This and this goes to the other video that I did about Eminem. Listen, it's okay that if you want to be a hardcore Travis Scott fan, uh, you want to be a hardcore Drake fan, you want to be a hardcore Eminem fan. I get it. I get it. We all have our taste in music, as Jay-Z said. But listen here, y'all. I think it's good to be aware of other artists out there. Are the Grammys racist? Woo let me not title the video that because last time I had the Grammys try to take my video down when I was talking about how you guys messed up with Kendrick Lamar by giving the Grammy to Mac Lamar. How many times are we going to see this type of racism in the Academy which y'all go and support? I mean, this is crazy that he won his awards, right? And then right after he won his awards... He was arrested. Rapper Killer Mike was released by police after being arrested for misdemeanor for, for a misdemeanor battery at the Grammy Awards on Sunday. Mm, OK, he was seen in handcuffs being escorted by the LAPD uh, out of the crypto arena on Sunday evening. Yes, we all know that the rapper's lawyer confirmed to Variety Sunday event that Killer Mike was released. OK, we, we all know this. We all know this. But we want to know, like. And, and let me show you all the clip in case you guys didn't see it. Let's run it back. <laughs> He's like, Mike, are you serious? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm serious. Oh, man. Are you serious? Are you serious? How does this happen? And, and my other question is this. Is that why? Why does it seem like a lot of this keeps happening to uh, black artists at these award shows? Like from the Chris Rock slap to uh, the Killer Mike arrest uh, to the Jay-Z speech calling out the Academy. Like you have not heard any, um, again, 
I want to stick to predominantly these races, especially what we just had happen on Pierce Morgan with Talib Kweli and the whole Ben Shapiro, Tom McDonald uh, situation. So, yeah, I, I want to stick to these two races right now. We got we got a lot of uh, racist things going on, like with the Eminem, uh, Benzino Diz calling him rap Elvis and basically saying what the music industry tried to do with rock and roll is the same thing they're trying to do with hip hop. It's, it's something to be looking at. It's something to look at right now. We can't deny that, man. And we, we can sit around and say, oh, well, you shouldn't talk about that, or that's uh, racist, or that's, you know, anti. We don't, we don't want to say all those words right now in this video because I want to keep this video good. Yeah, man, it's something that we need to look at. I believe I like what uh, Stephen A. Smith had put on Twitter. Let's see if we can pull that up real quick. Okay, so he says right here, to be clear, I'm not advocating that Will should have gotten arrested, but... That happened in L.A. too. Good point. So if Will could be left alone, how come they couldn't wait until after the Grammys to deal with Killer Mike? Why ruin his evening over an alleged misdemeanor but leave Will alone over a flagrant assault? What's the difference? Great question, man. That was, a great, that was a great question. As a matter of fact, I'm going to retweet that. I mean, I know people are going to be throwing jokes out there. A lot of people were throwing jokes. Some people said, oh, well, because he cheated. That's why. <laughs> Some people were saying he cheated. He, was, he wasn't supposed to win the Grammys. And the artificial intelligence is already coming out, even though that don't look like him. Some people were, were joking around that he cheated. Because this is the other very interesting part is that sh his acceptance speech was like, we got a responsibility to change the world and we can do this with our music. And I was like, yo, what a great speech. And I, I thought when I heard him, he sounded like he was yelling and kind of not yelling, but just being very, um, very passionate, I guess is the word that comes to mind, which I thought dope, man. He just won like three Grammys. He kind of swept the whole hip hop category as he should. But then. Later on, when I looked into the story, I actually saw or read that he already knew he was going to be arrested when he did that speech. And maybe that's the reason why he was probably so passionate about this speech. And then right after he did that speech, accepted his award, supposedly he was taken into custody. Let me go ahead and play the video real quick of his acceptance speech. And the Grammy goes to scientists and engineers, Killer Mike. I like how they start off with Eight Mile. I want to thank everyone who dares to believe that art can change the world. So thank Dre, thank Future, thank Aaron, thank all the producers on here. But everyone in this room, it is our responsibility to keep using our imagination to shape and form the world. Thank you, and I hope it's not the last time I see you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after he did that speech, um, he was taken, he was arrested, you know, I, I think they let him go probably right later that night. They just wanted to humiliate him. I don't know. Maybe it was another Illuminati humiliation ritual. I don't know. <laughs> strange, man. Very strange. Okay. So let's, let's, speaking of, uh, the Illuminati, let's, let's go over to Jay-Z, which a lot of people, uh, suggest that he's part of i'm not saying that he is uh, this is just what i what i hear or i tend to hear a lot so yeah jay-z calls out the grammys for never giving beyonce the album of the year now this is what we did hear all over news media beyonce keep in mind i think she's one of the ones that holds the highest records maybe even higher than michael jackson for most grammy wins she has 32 grammys to be honest with you i never even knew that Beyonce never had a Grammy for best album. I would have thought that with over 30 something Grammys, she definitely has um, best album of the year. I guess that's the that's the Super Bowl of the Grammys. That's the Super Bowls to win best album of the year. Not in your uh, particular category, but just overall out of all the albums, you came out with the best album of the year. He said some powerful stuff in there too, of course which a lot of people have criticized because they say that there's more important things going on in the world and why are we focused on these rich people getting more rich? Okay, we can't play it. Here's at work. The black billionaires at work. Didn't Ice Cube make a joke too because NWA accepted an award? Now that was the also the interesting thing 
that I didn't hear get uh, major news coverage was that Dr. Dre wasn't at the award ceremony when NWA got a Grammy for, uh, I forgot what they got the Grammy for, but it was like some kind of iconic award, right? And um, Ice Cube went up there with the rest of NWA and said, hey, basically, you know, Dr. Dre couldn't be here because he's a billionaire and he's got shit to do. I also thought it was kind of um, interesting that NWA acceptance speech and award ceremony giving was not also televised. It almost seems like they did their best to try to hide. Um, and now I see what people are talking about, because in the beginning, I used to say, well, who cares if it was televised? They won the Grammy. But now I see what people like Peter Rosenberg I was going to say Paul Rosenberg, but people like Peter Rosenberg are saying because it's like they don't want to show hip hop. They don't want to, uh, you know, reveal hip hop to the masses on their television platform. So they're just like, OK, you know what? We got to give you guys the Grammy. So we're going to give you the Grammy. We do acknowledge you, but we're just not going to put it on TV. OK. <laughs> you know why? Because your music went against the agenda. We're going to acknowledge you because you were really dope. So we're going to give you the Grammy, but you know what? We're going to let Travis Scott perform on television because he's part of the agenda. Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me, though? And that's why, what, Travis Scott had his little rant on stage? I mean, how can we forget that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's pull that part up real quick. It's all part of the plan. But this is what I want to say to you Travis Scott fans out there. Is that, yo... You think you're really going to win a Grammy because you kept saying the same word, fiend, 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 for 30 bars? You thought that that was going to win a Grammy? Y'all think that that's, like, dope? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. It's, it's not really that dope. Now, I'm not knocking Travis Scott. I actually like some of his music. But I'm going to tell you right here, man. You can't even understand what the hell they're saying on the song. You can't even understand Playboy Cardi's verse. You can't understand his verse, man. Even when we watched the performance, we still could not understand his verse. And y'all expect that to win a Grammy? Why? Because they're doing their Illuminati rituals on stage and in their music? It's time for y'all kids to start understanding who runs this agenda here. People saying, oh, I never even heard of this guy, Killer Mike. Yeah, we can't play it because of uh, copyright friends, but let's just see. Right here where he starts throwing the chairs and, and all that stuff. And, and then Playboy Cardi comes with his whack verse. Yo, this is what I'm saying, man. Shit's trash. But look at Travis Scott. So he's throwing the chairs. Y'all see that right there? Breaking up the stage, doing all that stuff. He's throwing his stuff, having a fit, having a tamper tension. <laughs> the way he threw that one chair. Look, look. See? You know, they don't mind doing their Illuminati sacrifice, but they definitely don't want to televise. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Killer Mike went in his grave. That when he won the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award, that the Grammy was black. All the other Grammys are gold, but that Grammy's black. Interesting. Um. So basically, he's saying that even though we boycotted y'all, we still watched y'all, we still have respect for y'all, right? All right, so let's get to the right part. <laughs> Sound the alarm. Jay Z just said some of y'all don't belong here. Some of y'all don't belong here. That's right. Some of you don't belong in the category. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I got to hear that just one more time. Some of you made it, Rob. <laughs> Some of you don't belong in the category. Man, I wonder who he was talking about. Was it uh, Taylor Swift? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, which we'll get into next. All right, no, 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 that was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. When I get nervous, I expose the Illuminati. Now to 
tuned into the motherfucking greatest. Now tuned into the motherfucking greatest. What a speech at the end, man. Feel me? You feel me? That will definitely go down as an historic moment in hip hop. That is definitely for sure. Definitely damn sure. I'm I'm glad that we covered that. Yeah, man. Uh SZA. SZA. Oh, SZA. I'm glad that she got her acknowledgement. Yeah, I'd like to see who the people are that are on the Academy. Album of the year goes to Taylor Swift for Midnight's. Now, let's just go to the Billboard article real quick cuz yes, this is what I'm talking about. Uh SZA, this is this is a weird thing. Let's take a look at what this article that Billboard said real quick. Snub, SZA SOS lost album of the year just as Beyoncé's Renaissance did last year. SOS was even a bigger hit relative to the year's other releases than Renaissance. Okay, so it topped the Billboard for 200 weeks, blah, blah, blah. SZA was vying to become the first black woman to win album of the year as lead artist since Lauryn Hill won 25 years ago with the miseducation of Lauryn Hill, which I tried to tell you all that that is one of the best rap albums of all time, male or female. You see, a lot of y'all keep comparing Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion as like, they're the queens of rap or the top, you know, females of all time, which is true. But then when y'all try to say like, who's the best? Y'all seem to forget about Lauryn Hill. Now, I know that Lauryn Hill was a little while ago, but still, like I said, I think some of y'all need to um, understand history a little bit. I mean, it's good to know a little bit about history. So more than a few fans of R&B and hip, and hip hop are saying, what does it take? Well, I think we all know what it takes. It's called the, uh, what, what, did, what did they say? What are some of the, what are the, some of them say, them activists? They say they got the complexion protection. Taylor Swift won album of the year for a record setting fourth time. So Taylor Swift made history, but then again, it doesn't seem like a lot of people care. Taylor Swift is having a big moment. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. So Taylor Swift won album of the year for a record setting fourth time, but she has also set a record in song of that year, losing for the seventh time. Swift has amassed more song of the year nominations than anyone else in Grammy history, but has yet to win in that category. It's a mystery, especially because most agree that songwriting, even more than singing or performing, is her chief talent. Yeah, speaking of performing, I gotta say that Taylor Swift is like the worst actress. When she sits around, acts like she's all she's all surprised. She can't believe that she won. Taylor Swift is having such a huge year. I mean, well, we can't even say that. I mean, Taylor Swift is having just such an, a huge impact on the culture, how this Sunday, she's taking home album of the year at the Grammys. Uh, she was like the main attraction of the Golden Globes. Then after that, now we have next weekend coming up where she's going to be again the main attraction of the Super Bowl. I mean, this is just crazy. I mean, could there possibly be powers at work? Sound the alarm, man. We all know. We all know that SZA got snubbed. Yeah, Punch went up on Twitter and put never again. I mean, I think it's quite clear. If you don't know who Punch is, he's the manager of SZA. And I think he also started TDE, which is the record company. He um, is basically letting y'all know, man, that something is not right here. Now, she did get her Grammys, but I think a lot of people were kind of expecting her to get album of the year. So she came in and she won her best R&B song. Look at this right here. She's like, oh, I won. Oh, my God. For real? I can't believe this. Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it. That was such bad acting. Taylor Swift just became the first person in history to win album of the year four times. And she's like, wait, I did it again? Oh my God, are you serious? Her hug. 
was so awkward to me. And I'm not trying to trash or talk trash or all this and that because I heard the views uh, uh, recap of this and it was just terrible, I thought. They didn't really speak about anything. I mean, I could see that Whoopi Goldberg wanted to go deeper in on the whole Jay-Z situation, but then she was like, oh, I better not say anything. You know, so um, just, just be happy your last name is Goldberg, Whoopi, even though that's not your real last name. But... They were just saying, oh, I just I'm so tired of these misogynists and these male men that hate on Taylor Swift. And we're saying booing her at the football games and all this and that. And I was just like, man, but look, 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 something weird is going on here. Like the awkward hug that she gave to her manager. That didn't even look like a real hug. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what y'all what y'all think of this. Last thing before I get up out of here, Trevor Noah. 